I can finally start using my lemon Chanel. I'm gonna pack up the car and off we go. I had my eye on this for ages. How amazing are these? And then he's got the little shorts, like look at this. So if I'm honest, I, I don't need this and I shouldn't have bought it. Wow. <laughs> Thursday afternoon and I actually have to go back and work we just popped out for lunch um, so I had to keep my glasses on because my ex was terrible story of my life awful typical English weather today look it's so dull here like whenever we watch a film it's all like looks all expensive and luxury and it's all beautiful light and when they cut to like England it looks like they're on a budget movie just because everything looks terrible here. Um, got some Topshop jeans on. Miss Topshop jeans. So noisy here, sorry. These two are stuffed in their face. Let me see Honore. He's got his Benny's cookies. Didn't want to eat any of his roast chicken, but he's fine when it comes to a cookie. Welcome to a vlog. Um, how was your Benny's cookie? Nice. <laughs> I wanted more, but you said you have to look for work. I haven't um, worn this for a long, long time. It's actually the men's one, and it was so much cheaper. And I got it last year when the other one was sold out everywhere. But the men's one, I always recommend checking men's. It's cheaper. They're barely ever out of stock. I've got this bag. Um, See, so yeah, it's freezing, horrible weather. It's Thursday, we've just popped out for lunch. Now I'm gonna go home, finish lunch, and then I have a luxury promise, like team dinner, because the New York team are over, so I'm gonna take you there. Tomorrow I'm gonna vlog, and then I'm directing a photo shoot at the Ritz. Hello everyone. Um, I've got hay fever, I've got eczema, I've got everything going on today. Can't even wear makeup. Um, I have not even had the chance to vlog. So what have I done? I went on my Luxury Promise, like, team dinner. I spent the day in the office there. I was just too busy to vlog, even though I really wanted to. Um, I couldn't. So today is Sunday. And yesterday we did cleaning. Well, I did cleaning. Watch the Eurovision. Ignore this, because I'm putting a jumper over it, which I'm going to show you. Um, how good was the Eurovision, by the way? Like, the whole thing was really good. And um, it literally felt like we were watching a sketch because we were in the lead for, like, the first time in 20 years. But I'm really happy Ukraine won as well. <sighs> My asthma's bad. So, today, I'm paying a visit to Dr. Marwa because I'm just desperate to see her. Let me show you. Um, I'm even, like, I'm, I'm literally hiding. But I definitely need a bit of a brow lift. And I really feel like... The Botox and you know everything that Dr. Mawa does, I feel like not only does it refresh and you know do all the obvious, I really feel like it just it really helps my well the eczema. I just it I don't know what it is that helps, but it helps and I have a lot of light therapy with her and like the oxygen blast. I haven't got time to do any of that today, um, but I'm in very much need of Dr. Mawa magic, so I'm hoping for like a brow lift, probably top up as he knows um botox here and i think that's probably it we'll see what she says um but i've got so much to catch up with you i think it's fair that i show you exactly how i am like this is me i went to bed at 3 a.m because i was watching the euro vision and um i was cleaning the floor which one away we were in this morning so that was like love that for me um and i've got hay fever and i'm tired but this is every day this is how i look so this is before and hopefully by the next time I see you, there'll be some improvements here. And um, yeah, so let me show you some bits. That's just my bag for today. I'm staying in London for a few days. I love this bag. Um, I use it way more than what I thought. There is, and I've got the matching suitcase. I'll link it below, but it's never in stock. Neither is this, but it's back in stock. I love how this is unisex. And in 50 years time, this will still be iconic. There is a new version of this, not Gucci. It's actually one of my other favorite bag brands. And it is... 
oh, it's amazing. And I don't know whether it's silly me getting it and having two, like, different brands, because I'm not going to use them together. But I'll link it below. It's so chic and elegant. This is a bit more logo mania. And it comes with a matching bag that I already have from last season. So, anyway, that's my bits for today. Now, this isn't... Normally, I do, like, full-on unboxing hauls. But I'm wearing this today... And I have to show you it because I really wanted it in the white, but I'm scared about wearing expensive things in white. And as soon as I saw this come in, it, it just landed and I, I bought it. I'm not sure if there's any left. Um, I've already tried it on. So I got the Prada Terry jacket. I went up a size because it's a little bit cropped, but it looks fine. Um, I love the skirt. I've got the shorts. I'll link them below. They are so flattering. Get true to size in Prada. Um, so I've got that to wear with the shorts, but I think I'm probably going to get the skirt. So let me try that on for you. So this is it on. Um, I just love it so, so much. Like it's like the weather is so weird at the moment. It's like hot, heat wave hot, then cold. Today's a bit in between. Um, my mirror is so dirty. Um, we had the painter come in just to like do some bits up here. So it's probably all fallen down. I'm forever cleaning mirrors. Um, so this is it. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing these. I bought these a few weeks ago and I live in them. They are the most comfortablest shoes ever. And I also found my Celine socks. I wasn't meant to put them in the wash, but YOLO. Um, I don't know whether to wear it with this. This does look nice. But I think because there's a possibility of raining, I don't want to be caught in the rain with these. And I'm wearing my gold Kelly. So I think I'll wear my black Prada loafers, which are still going strong. So that's my Sunday look. I can't be bothered with any makeup today, especially if I'm seeing Marwa. Um, tomorrow, I have a few bits to do in London, and then I'm off to Paris with Sicily. So I'll continue that vlog there. I have so much to show you. I have so much that I've bought from my Teresa. I'm doing like a little project with them as well. So, so many amazing bits from my Teresa. I'll probably share it in the next haul of uh, vlog. If it's up, I'll put it in the, in the description box. Now this, I was in work the other day and I wasn't even looking for a bag and I didn't know I needed this in my life. You are never gonna guess the color. Like I threw you with the orange. So make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to unbox that tomorrow. But it's insane. So I'm gonna pack up the car and off we go. Hi everyone. Um, when did we last? Oh, when did we last speak? So it's been a week or so since I last um, spoke to you. <laughs> I went to see Dr. Marwa. I had Botox and we couldn't fit in the laser. And then I went to Paris the next day and it was really, really hot. So I'm glad I didn't have the laser. I'm having the laser now. <coughs> oh, sorry. I've had got such bad allergies today and you're going to see on my face. I really need to show you before the laser because it makes such a big difference. But I'm a bit embarrassed with how bad my skin looks. My skin looks great. It's just the eczema and allergies. But it's good to show you that it's not always like, you know, perfect Instagram filters and all that. But don't judge. And I know I picked off my finger this morning. I'm going to go and do my laser now. And then I'll do my fillers next week or something. But let me show you my skin. Look, look how bad it is. <sighs> so all here, I just woke up and it was terrible. And I thought I'm not even going to try it and put makeup on it just goes like it makes me look so old but the botox has done me wonders whenever i put my makeup on after botox i'm like why didn't i do this sooner i had lots of compliments on the previous youtube video you'll see the difference of me in paris with the with the um botox like the effect is so instant and it's going to look even better so i'll vlog tomorrow and then you can see more of a result but i'm just gonna have these on for now i've just got a t-shirt on some spit leggings and chanel shoes which you'll see it's so hot I can finally start using my lemon Chanel. Literally, I've not had a summer where I've used this because I got it during lockdown. I do have a jacket, but it's so hot, there's no point, even though it's cold in there. Um, so we're going to go in Harrods. I'm going to do my facial. I'm going to go and pick up something in Prada, go to the menswear section, and then we're going to go to the food hall section, and I'm going to show you what I pick up in the food hall and what is the amazing... I'm burning up in this car. The most amazing Harrod food hall essentials that you should get because I've been buying the same things for years when I come. So if you're a tourist, you can pick up things like the biscuits and the tea. That kind of thing is good for tourist people. And if you live in England and, you know, you do your food shop at a normal supermarket, these are the essentials that you can get and mix in with your supermarket. That's what I do. So um, let's go. And then it's the weekend. And um, I'm just going to vlog our weekend in London, basically. <laughs>
I thought it took five minutes, but it, it took 40 minutes. So I had my whole face and neck, but I'll show you outside with better light. I feel like a vampire that's gonna melt in the sun. Um, Paris found my Prada hat that I lost for two years. Literally randomly found it this morning. So I've got my sunblock on, my hat to cover, so I don't melt in the sun. So I'm gonna get a coffee from Harrods. So I've just shown you all of my, let me get out of the public. I'll go and stand with all the other bloggers that are taking pictures over here. So I'll fit in. Um, so I showed you all of the things in Harrods that I like. The Pink Lady Apples, the Avocado, the, the Fruit Juice Bar, the Chablis, Harrods Chablis. Balsamic Vinegar. And the Biscuits and the Jamaican blue coffee. So yeah, they're all the things that you must, must get. I'm just gonna pop into Zara. I never go in there because I think it's got so bad in Zara, but I literally wanna look for one thing. And I'm waiting for, I'm just waiting for Paris. So I was gonna get a coffee at the Harrods. It's next to the staff entrance. They do really good coffee there. So if you're looking, if you're around Harrods and you want to get a coffee, go to the staff entrance. I'm gonna show you the only bad thing is it shuts at five and I literally missed it by 10 minutes. But let me quickly show you. So this is the back of Harrods. Um, and there's Harry's there and the staff entrance is there. When I worked here it used to be a Starbucks um, but now it's a Harrods like coffee shop so it's at the back here so really recommend their coffee and now I'm just gonna pop to Zara whilst I wait for Paris. Honey! That's not real coke is it? Yeah. Hello! That's not coke, that's Pepsi Max. I hope that isn't Pepsi Max. Just wanted to show you how beautiful Sloan Square looks for the Queen's Jubilee. Looks so nice. Wow! wow. Looks lovely, doesn't it? And all the flowers for the flower show. Look at your little beautiful face. You're beautiful. Honey, cheers. Yay. Cheers, get your drink. Cheers, honey. Whoa. That's it, cheers. It's just spritz, lemon spritz. <laughs> Which one? This one? Show me your shoes. Welcome to the second part of this vlog. I feel like this is going to be such a long vlog and um, do you know, I haven't done a video like this where you've seen me like, like I don't want to use the word rough because that's not fair on myself, but like me when I'm at home cleaning and working, like working, working, working. This when I'm super, super busy and I'm putting washing on and I've got so many deadlines. This is honestly the kind of thing that I wear. So like if you ever see me out, this is probably nine times out of ten what you're going to see me in. Right, so let's have a quick catch up. Oh no, perfect. So my room is a mess. It gets like this because of deliveries and hauls and then like obviously every day. I have one more day. I have like one hour until Honoré comes home. And I need to get this room completely tidy. Because the only time I have tomorrow is to pack and I'm going to cash and rock it. And I'm going to show you some really amazing pieces and just tidy the room. And basically I'm just going to share a few little bits for you. So one thing I want to talk to you about. Um, I'll probably fast forward the tidying up afterwards. This is so bad isn't it? Like look, look where we're talking. If you follow me for a while you would know for years 
that I have said that I have this dress rule that I live by. I live by it, I swear by it. I went against my own against my own dress rule. So this cash and rocket, this should be a whole vlog in itself today. It's a lot of women going and a lot of these women this is not a bad thing at all like i actually wish i was these other women they have a lot more time to prep or they're more organized than me they have stylists and a great thing about having a stylist is that they do all that work for you whereas i am a stylist so i only want to do it for myself and i've just left it i haven't had the time it's not that i've left it last minute i haven't had the time to outfit plan and cash and rocket is two events a day and a strict uniform like you can only wear green at the day you can only wear like red this night it's got to be this vibe so i've had to i felt like i had to get like a whole new wardrobe but i refused to do that because i know i've got so many clothes and i panicked with the blue or yellow night and i bought this dress i'll do a cutaway and the thing is is i saw it in harrods i'd never seen it before i was panicking it was a panic buy this is what i always say you always panic and you buy something overpriced that you don't really like and my dress rule is buy something put it away in my sheer panic i totally forgot about the things that i'd put away paris was moaning so you can't stand shopping i bought it i got it home i'm not putting down the brand because it's actually a really beautiful dress but it is not me at all it's not the dress it's me um but i'll link it below for anyone i i feel like yes yeah, it's just not me and I went through all of my wardrobe this morning, hence why everything is a super duper mess. And I found the most stunning outfit. And I have it, I had this since Honoré was born. I got it the week that Honoré was born. And it was a little bit too small for me. And I put it away, still got the, still got the um, tags on. How stunning is this? So they gave us an art picture and it had blue and yellow in it and I was focused on the blue, but that is what I think it's so old you can't even link it which means no one's going to be wearing it if this was like a trend piece and out like the other day I guarantee there'd be one person wearing this so um it works every time so I'm going to take back the dress save myself some money and this I also had this dress for the red night so I'll link that below because it's new it's so beautiful on it looks like just a normal red dress here um, but it's actually stunning, so I'm going to link that below. I'll be wearing this all in Italy and France next week, and you'll see it on my Instagram if you want to see how they look. I don't have time to show you. I'm going to wear them with my trusted Jimmy Choo heels. If you're ever going to get a pair of shoes, please get these. They are so comfortable. They literally go with everything. Look, no matter what I wear them with, they look great with everything. So much to get through today. The next piece that I want to show you, the only thing that I got new, let me get all this washing out of the way, is this set from Out Dazzle. So there was like a day look, a pool look, and I really didn't have the time. So I went to Out Dazzle, which is such a trusted website of mine whenever I need holiday or summer bits. I had my eye on this for ages. Um, this I already have worn, so I'll put up some pictures. It's so sensational, and this brand has really got their their quality back and their fit is perfection. I'll put the sizes that I get down. Outdesel gives my followers 15% off, and that is outstanding on this brand and new season. And I love this because I can mix it and match it. Like I can wear that with a shirt, and I love it. It's so beautiful. You have to check out Outdesel. And then I also got this one. There's like a white day party. And I've got the matching skirt. So definitely check out Out Dazzle for that and the 15%. I think that's all I'm going to show you for now. You know what I should do? I should hang you up. Oh no, I can't because Paris has broken my ring light and hasn't bought me a new one. Have you, Paris? You haven't ordered it yet. Um, but we've got a bit of light in here, so that's good. So I'm packing now. We're going to tidy all this up together. I know what I need to show you. I ordered Paris and Honoré a father and son look for, for Father's Day and it just arrived so let me go get it. Okay so how amazing are these? So I am really careful when it comes to designer stuff for children. I don't like swarm him in designer stuff but if I see the odd cute thing I'll get it and I'll make sure that it's something that will last at least a year. So if I've ever invested in like a Gucci sweater I get it quite baggy for him which is fine so it's a jumper. And I know it's going to last, but these, we tried them on and he loved them. And I know he's two, I know, I know, I know. But he just loves shoes. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, you know he always loves shoes. He says shoes. I just want him to get Paris and him matching. I actually have these as well. I know I got him black as well. But he just lives in tracksuits and trainers. And, you know, I know it's excessive. I can literally feel the comments now 
but he liked wearing them we loved them we were like this is so cute and i am justifying myself here because i do know it's extravagant getting a two-year-old balenciaga trainers but we just love them and they look so adorable on him and having like matching father and son and as i said i've literally got these do you know i'm going to start wearing mine again i actually really like them so i got him them this long sleeve because like you can see that's quite big for him um, he wears two to three and these are four but they do fit and then he's got the little shorts like look at this and then the jumper to match this so I'll link them below. Louise Viaroma are so fab for kids by the way they have all the sizes they had every colour in the tracksuit and like the shorts aren't that bad like you can get the shorts with like a normal t-shirt and just get them big and this will literally last him until next year for sure like even more than that and I've got in the matching jumper and then this one I got for Paris so they've got like a father and son so if you keep on watching subscribe and you'll actually see them both wearing this but i'll link them all below um i'm worried how like long this video is my h&m skirt came if you follow me on instagram i linked this it's such a bargain hopefully it's still in stock i'm gonna take that with me and we went to parlor didn't we so let me show you what i bought i have actually worn this already but i love sharing things with you this will be so annoying that my head keeps popping out um, I love sharing things with you once I've worn it so I can really give you my feedback. So if I'm honest, I, I don't need this and I shouldn't have bought it. I just bought this in Harrods. I really didn't need it. I have so many leather jackets. Since I had the baby, none of my jackets fit me and I'm kind of rebuilding my jacket collection. But I didn't need a black leather because my Saint Laurent still fits me and my... oh. And my acne ones fit me. And it is very similar to Acne Studios. But I bought it really big. I bought this in a size 42. It runs really oversized. Like most of Prada. It's very much like the acne one if you like the style. But I'm obsessed. I'll put, I think I've got one picture of me wearing it. I don't think I even took a picture of myself. But I just love it. There's a, there's a biker night for Cash and Rocket. I'm going to wear like a black mini and this over my shoulders with like killer sexy heels. So it's going to be like a sexy boyish look. It'll be my favourite look probably the one that I feel the most comfortable in so it was an investment but I'm just gonna wear this for years to come and it was a treat I've been so so good saving that like, I have been saving solid for like a year like hardcore saving and it was like the one thing that I really didn't need that I did so that's that I showed you the Balenciaga bits from Louise Via Roma stay tuned for more of that You've seen the bits from Out Dazzle. You've seen a little bit of what I'm taking to Cash and Rock here. Should I talk you through some of the products that I was using earlier? Let's go back over here. I literally just did a little bit of makeup so that I wasn't like terribly, you know, I just put a little bit up so I look a slightly bit alive. So these are like my go-to things. This is my new makeup bag that Paris got me for our anniversary. I don't normally chew chewing gum, by the way. These are my American ones and I love them so much. So what have we got? My Rodeo Concealer. It's the best under eye concealer ever. It's so good. I absolutely adore this mascara benefit this i said it was a holy girl product and i mean it this is the beauty pie eyebrow um eyebrow product i just love beauty pie the prices are so crazy good um i think i used something else beauty pie oh this i love the serum you get so much i've never had a serum this big and i literally use one pump or two if i only grab a little bit and the whole, it just spreads across my whole face and neck. I barely need to use any. I use this at least once a day. It's so, so good. And I've been using this for like a month now. Um, and then my cream that I love is this mantle. So I've only just recently introduced this on my channel, but I actually was using it for a lot longer. Um, I like to test out beauty products, but the smell. Really good if you want to like use CBD products, but you want them, you know, not directly oral. So it's really, really great. I also have a discount code for mantle. Oh, and I have a discount code for Beauty Pie. So two, two discount codes for them. I'll put them in the link below. I'm going to tidy my room. I don't think you want to see that. So I'm just going to say goodbye now. I'll link everything below that you've seen. Do make sure you're subscribed. Because I will show you uh, what we get up to at Cash and Rocket. It's going to be such an amazing trip. It's all for charity. Kids charities. Um, oh, my lip liner. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. It's my one of my favourite lip liners and lipsticks. I'll put the numbers below i don't want this video to be too long i could show you so much more i'll link all the outfits do subscribe follow me on instagram and you'll see me wearing all these outfits next week so thank you so much for watching my next video is going to be um like an hermes kelly collection and um like what's in my bag and then you'll see the cash and rocket vlog so thank you so much for watching skin looks so good doesn't it like you just saw i'm like talking more again you literally saw i put on these two and blusher
I literally have no skin product on whatsoever. I'm so happy with my skin. I had laser facial with Dr. Marwa. Um, and the rest has just been my beauty products. I've been so careful what I use. Okay, so I'm definitely going now. Thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video. I cannot end this vlog without showing you these. Honestly, it's been one of them days. I found it. So that box that you saw. All of these. That's those. I loved them so much. These are the new ones. I'm addicted to Louis V Aroma. Oh, here's Oni's Balenciaga jumper. Let's see how cute is that. And it looks so cute on him, oversized. And all I do is I just roll these up twice. And it just looks super cute on him, baggy. And I almost think this could last him two years. And it's black, so it's fine. Okay, these are the new shoes. Now, the other ones, I had a lot of comments about how I use my points. And you're all absolutely right. So the Louise V. Roma points have changed and I have checked and I can't use Gucci for points because I actually tried, I'd bought so much. I only had a little voucher but I tried to use them for this and they didn't work. So the other ones I had before, the points have completely changed. So before you could spend like up to £600 with no minimum spend but it's all changed. So anyway, got these, these are definitely coming with me. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you is this dress. So this you would have seen on my Instagram stories. I tried it on in the um, the showroom, and it's actually a dupe of a dress. I'll put it up here. It's like seven, eight hundred pound, and this was under fifty. I think it's like thirty pound, and it looks so good with like my dad's sandals. All these is so chic. Has cutouts. It looks really expensive. What size do I have? I have a size medium. I could have worn a small. Okay, definitely the end. Thank you and goodbye.